Temporarily, place the high performance sill component next to the opening. Flip the sill upside down so that you can mark the location of the fastener holes. Mark just off to the side of the fastener holes. Set the sill slope in the slot. Using the pre-drilled holes in the sill slope as a guide, pre-drill through both walls of the sill slope and into the substrate. Remove the subsill temporarily. Blow any debris out of the holes with compressed air. Inject the holes with sealant. Set the sill slope back in the slot and fasten with appropriate fasteners that are a minimum number eight by two and a half inch and penetrate one and a quarter inch into the substrate. Install a panning system. Seal any seams in your panning. Any fasteners that penetrate the sill panning must have sealant applied to the pre-drilled hole prior to fastening. Place counter shims every 10 inches using the marks you made earlier as a guide. If you have an odd number of sill tracks, you will need to break off the exterior end of the counter shim at the brake line. Check for level. If necessary, use the 16 inch thick adhesive back shims to bring the counter shims to level. With your frame set in place to the correct depth, pre-drill into the high performance sill near the stationary side. Drill through the sill slope with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Blow the holes out with compressed air. Inject sealant into the holes. Fasten with the screws found in the bag with the green dot. Install the high performance sill nosing. Apply sealant around the end cap and then push the cap into the ends of the sill nosing. Seal the bottom of the sill nosing, leaving gaps at the sill weeps.